All right, welcome back. Igboho goes underground whereabouts unknown to associates. DSS man hot. Onto this, there are indications that wanted Yoruba activist Sunday, a day more popularly known as Sunday Igboho, has gone underground following a man hot for him by the Department of State Services for allegedly stockpiling harms to destabilize Nigeria. All right, this had been said according to the DSS anyway. Well, findings by her correspondents showed that the whereabouts of Igboho, a lead figure in the separatist agitation for the Yoruba nation, is also unknown to his associates. Some of his associates who spoke with our correspondent on condition of anonymity said they had not been able to reach him since the DSS launched a ban hot for him on Thursday night. Repeated efforts by our correspondent to reach Igbo on his known phone numbers proved abortive as his lines were perpetually switched off, a measure some of his associates said was necessary to avoid him being tracked by security agents who were on his trail. All right, and meanwhile, the DSS had said a joint team a joint team of security operatives raided Igboho's residence in the early hours of Thursday based on an intelligence report that he was allegedly stockpiling harms. All right, onto this, the DSS also paraded 12 of Igboho's followers in Abuja on Thursday saying one order was being Profiled. All right, and parading the suspects at the national headquarters of the secret police, its spokesman Peter Afonaya said the security team was engaged in a gun duel by men suspected to be Boho's guards. Two of the guards died in the shootout while some were injured. All right, my people that are in this admin on this one, Igboho goes on the ground, whereabout unknown to associate. All right, this had been said by the DSS, man hot. All right, my people, a lot of things are actually happening in the country. All right, and then meanwhile, well, my people, onto this, it has been said according to the media report, DSS operatives raided the Ibadan residence of Sunday Igboho on Thursday around midnight, killing at least least two of his aides and arrested his wife and others. <laughs> All right, and then onto this, the news was also confirmed by DSS spokesman. All right, spokesman Peter Afonaya, who said that the operation was carried out after security agencies got wind of an information that Igbo was stockpiling weapons to cause mayhem in the country. All right, my people, hmm, to cause mayhem, and then that is exactly what majority of people don't want to hear why would you say a freedom fighter is trying is compiling or stockpiling weapons to cause mayhem hmm. oh my brother this one is serious all right untold this it is said that while reacting sunday Igboho denied the allegations and then disclosed that he was back at his Ibadan residence, Igboho, through his lawyer, Chief Yomi Aliyu, has written to the federal government of Nigeria demanding monetary compensation of 500 million naira as reparation for damage done by the DSS officer. All right, and then my people onto this, hmm, majority of people have actually reacted onto this, that what is exactly what is going on in Nigeria. All right, and then onto this, the lawyer said the money would be used to replace his client's properties, which were damaged during the incident. However, the money was not the only thing demanded by the activist. Here are two other notable things he demanded from the federal government. All right, the first one is an investigation. Hmm, all right. Well, majority of people be like, an investigation onto what? What exactly do they mean by an investigation? All right. Onto this, it is said that, okay, according to Daily Post, the activists demanded that the federal government should effect 
an investigation into the actions of security operatives that raided Igboho's house. The lawyer believes that the investigation would ensure the sanctioning of officers who took part in the raid. All right, and then the second one is a public apology. Hmm. Well, to me, if you are talking about public apology, well, it's a very good one, but hmm, what about the person, the woman beings that were killed? Oh my goodness, this one is another strong one. All right, the second one says a public apology. Aside the 500 million naira compensation demanded by Sunday Igbo's lawyer, they also demanded a public apology from relevant authorities. Chief Yomi Aliyu said our client should also be paid 500 million naira as reparation for damage to his exotic cars that include Mercedes-Benz G-Class and 2019 Lexus car. We also demand our public our apology all right my people onto what has been gathered and then we are now surprised that the same igbo who had no requested for the payment of damages done to his house and his vehicle and is now being said to have gone on the ground well the truth of the matter is sunday Igboho, we all know he is a freedom fighter and then you will not even expect him that to remain in that same house yes you can't expect him to remain in that same house i was so surprised when sunday Igboho had to tell you no know, disclosed his you no know, whereabouts to the dss the majority of people were so surprised that why would no Sunday Igbo will do such a thing. Well, to an extent, he must have been able to say, okay, fine. I am trying to let them know that I am alive and that nobody have arrested me. Fine. But to a greater extent, I think it's so risky for him to have disclosed his whereabouts. And then somebody earlier said it that as far as no, this agitation is concerned, as far as no, the whole thing is concerned, Sunday Igbo should not disclose his whereabouts to anyone. Like right now, the DSS have said that he has gone underground, that they can't find him. At least that is a, the exact thing for him to do. Yes, for now, that is the exact thing for him to do. Well, uh, now that they have seized his international passports and all that, majority of people will be like, okay, let's see how he wants to travel out. My brother, don't get it twisted. Well, this is Sunday, Igbo, and uh, if not for the fact that he has been telling everybody about himself, there are so many things he would have been able to do, and um, or will, he will still be doing that majority of people would not even know about. But right now, I think majority of people are like, oh, what Sunday Igbo has done is a wise decision. Henceforth, don't disclose your location to anyone is very very important because these people do not love you even the so-called you know your bad leaders that you are trying to say maybe i want to impress or i want to tell them my whereabout these people are great traitors and what that's what we have gathered so far onto this all right and then as it is i think sunday Igbo have to be very careful and smart enough to do things in a very right way all right and that has been it on this one my people meanwhile let me have your take on this and and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.